So I was at the library yesterday, and it was me and, like, this long table. And then, a, like, a seat down was this group of girls. Um, and one of them literally says, I am salty. I'm in for a debate mood. Debate me. So I'm completely uninterested in what I'm doing, and I listen in. And they discuss, the first thing they discuss is ISIS. But, of course, them being women, they know nothing about it. And one of them literally asks, where was ISIS located? They don't know, so they move on to rape culture. And I don't get what rape culture is. I don't get what culture is revolved around rape. But they discuss it. Um, and uh, um, of course, they all side on the, the whole uh, drunk rape, because they don't listen to what actual rape is, um, which is a problem with a lot of feminists, but these girls don't even seem to be feminists, they're just your modern teenagers that have been brainwashed into thinking this, um, so they go on to say, what, what were they saying, if you're blacked out, is it okay that, uh, you get raped, which no, you're blacked out, but then again, I, I don't see how you can just hold in your autism and you hear stupid things like this and not just burst out into like saying your own beliefs. But I know you can't because you're going to get in trouble for your beliefs because you can't side on your own opinion anymore. So, um, I slightly say without trying to sound rude in any way, like I don't want to start a debate on my thoughts because of course that's wrong with what I think. So I say, well, you should know your limits and not get blacked out. Um, it is sort of your fault you're blacked out. And seriously, know what you're doing. And one of them tells me, what if it's your 21st birthday? What if it is your 21st birthday? Does that justify you getting drunk more than any other day because you can drink? No. Again, know your limits. So there is that. And then... Um, they go with the old, teach men not to rape, which is just as good as saying, teach murderers not to murder, teach terrorists not to terrorize. It's something you can't prevent, and saying something like that is completely idiotic and uneducated. Um, it's, it's inevitable, and you know what I'm trying to say, I can't say that word, inevitable, and um, it's going to happen, but then again, rape in these children's minds yeah they were about teenagers if I didn't say that is um they don't look at real rape as rape they look at their their made up fantasy rapes as rape um like I said drunk sex um or regret sex that's rape in their eyes but they don't take real rape as actual rape now, I'm not trying to sound like some SJW on saying, like, I'm not trying to come off as an SJW because I'm not. Um, I think that all of these rape things are completely wrong. <laughs> and like I said, people are being brainwashed now. Um, all these oppressed women are kind of having these this whole reverse role on it now they're being praised for whatever reason because they're women and they get to cry about whatever so they get praised for that um so now men are starting to look like the the world's most vicious people out there i don't see why i don't see why people are looking more into this because they're not clearly um they just take whatever they hear and run with it, pretty much. Um, but yeah, then they also, what else? They go on gender fluid. I don't know if I already mentioned this or not, but like, I never heard of gender fluid before. But I guess it's on one day you decide you're a guy, one day you decide you're a girl, or whatever 400 different uh, genders there are anymore. Um, which, I... Do not get what is so hard to grasp about the concept that you are a guy or you are a girl. Live with it. What is so hard to see about that? 
Um, and these, these teenagers are going to grow up and teach their children their views, which only just gets more degenerate by the generation, if you don't know that. And there's no turning back. We are set into this. We are going to go into these, these um, things of accept everybody else's views. Um, except for yours, you can't speak out against it. You have to go with all these pro things of, oh, you have to accept everything that comes by you. Um, but people can't, like, that have similar views to mine can't speak out against it because then you'll be called a bigot. Um, I don't know. It's just what got us to this point, really, what got us to this point where we start thinking like this, where our kids start to think like this, what happened? And I know, I swear, Tumblr is a huge blame for this because every kid that is like this uses Tumblr. Um, this is the way they get their thoughts across. Um, I seriously have to say that is the blame of one of these that kind of started this. Um, but really, I don't know. Um, they discussed other things too. Like they had a friend that was gender fluid. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah how do you hide your autism when you are put into these places because I didn't hold it and this is like the second time in this month that it's happened so yeah uh, that's my uninteresting rambling for you I don't feel like doing a real video today so this is my replacement probably nothing I said made sense whatever